Hi there! The Boyer Sisters back to answer your questions. Last week we covered the very long lifestyle category and this week we are covering music. Okay, let's jump right in. The first one is from Carissa. What are your favorite songs and why? I have three favorite songs um, currently. Um, a solo from Jekyll and Hyde called Someone Like You. Because? Because um, it tells uh, Gabe and I's story, or at least my side of the story of Gabe and I. Um, you, the version that you can find online is not the version I sing. Because um, it's if someone like you. Mine is um, then someone like you. Um, or for someone like you. Um, and then um, Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy. I love playing that one. And Wayne Gate Trollhagen by Grieg. Is it Grieg? Yeah, I think so. Correct us if we're wrong. That I love playing that one too. Yeah. Uh, I have two favorites. Yeah. I'm, I have such a hard time deciding between modern and vintage. Um, I love uh, Long Ago and Far Away as sung by Frank Sinatra. That is like my favorite love song. A tie with that is A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. I don't like the movie that it's from, but I do love that love song. Um, and I, I just love those songs because they tell such a sweet, uh, faithful love story. And uh, I'll just leave my neck too. Um, my favorite solo piece is um, Homeward Bound and it's not um, related to anything in particular, it's just a beautiful song. And um, my favorite trio piece is uh, um, Look to the Rainbow. The next question is by Franziska. Which is your favorite Andrew Sisters song, starting with Jessica? Mm. I'd have to say my favorite Andrew Sisters song that we do is Hold Tight. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Andrew Sisters song that they do is Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. uh, I think my favorite Andrew Sisters song is it's a tie between um, Give Me Some Skin My Friend oh. and Ever Love and Rag. Oh. Those two I are a tie. Oh. And my mind is blanking out on the Andrew Sisters library right now. What's the one we always wanted to do? Not Down oh, by the oh, Ohio. Uh, the oh Johnny. No, no, it wasn't that That's one. That's a cute one, though. That one is cute. It's like a Caribbean, um, oh, Begin the Begin! Oh, there. yeah, that one's Duh! Good. Begin the Begin! <laughs> yeah, that one's a great one. Okay, the next question is by Elsie. Charlotte, what is your favorite song to sing from Phantom of the Opera? Be still my heart. Thank you for asking this question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, okay. Um, I have learned uh, both of Christine's solos from that musical Think of Me and Wishing You're Somehow Here Again, but by far Wishing You're Somehow Here Again takes the cake every time. Yeah, I, she does amazing. I just get into that song. So, um, this one is by Elizabeth B. What is a typical voice practice like? So a typical voice practice is, I'm just going to go with what we do at home, okay? Um, yeah. We practice in the evenings um, and um, we'll warm up. We'll do you know a few scales, chords, um, different things to warm up our voices. Also breathing exercises. Breathing exercises as well occasionally. Um, and uh, then we will um, work on whatever song we're working on at the time. It could be anywhere from one to three songs mm -hmm. that we're working on at once. Um, so we'll do trios, trio songs first. Um, and then if so, if we're practicing solos, we'll do solos afterwards, or we'll do solos on our own time. Generally, though, the girls do their solos after trios because I play the piano for them um, when we pra when they practice. Um, but that's generally what it looks like. It lasts anywhere from a half hour to forty five minutes, sometimes an hour, but that's stretching because. Um, 
a voice practice is actually more intense on our voices than in performance. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again, hitting your vocal it's like doing, cords in the same spot. It's like doing a over bunch and over. of push-ups. Right. Yeah. The next question is from Mary. Do you think you all would ever record another CD, maybe a Christmas one? At this point, no. And um, interesting you asked about Christmas because that is our least favorite season to sing for because for us... The songs are corny. Well, not only that, um, the songs available are corny. Um, and also, Not all of them are corny, no, just those no, ones. No, um, certain ones. They're, they're not the way that... They're not up to our standards. They're not inspiring. Yeah. They're not <laughs> also, beautiful. And also, um, whenever you sing Christmas songs over and over and over, the essence of the holiday spirit actually begins to lag behind and get left whenever you first began practicing that song. All the way mm -hmm. back in July. Yeah. So, probably not a CD. Mm -hmm. Definitely not Christmas. <laughs> um, okay, the next question is the last question actually is from Xian. 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 S I A N. I'm sorry, I like you, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, <laughs> the question is I wondered whether you could talk a bit more about the type of music you tend to listen to, thinking more specifically about modern music. I know you're a you're, of course, big fans of music from days gone by, but I think Charlotte talked about being a fan of Owl City once, too. I'm a little bit obsessed with their music right now. Woohoo, Owl City fans! So I wondered if you could recommend any others similar that you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to elaborate on this a bit more because I have a bit of a guilty secret I have not shared on the blog. <laughs> I listen almost exclusively to modern music, especially these days. Uh, we used to listen I, to exclusively vintage, though. Yeah. Exclusively Glenn Miller, Andrew Sisters, mostly Andrew Sisters. Um, Danny but Sisters. Danny I, Sisters, Clark I Sisters. got burnt out, and yeah. I was like, I'm sick of this type of music, literally. I perform it, and I enjoyed performing it, but I just got so sick of it that I was like, ah, I'm ready for something different. So I, I have this huge playlist on Spotify of strictly modern artists. And a few of my favorites are Imagine Dragons, Coldplay, I especially love his older albums. Mm -hmm. um, his like album, X and, X and Y is a great album. Uh, I love oh, oh, yeah, some, of, some of Mindy well. Gled Hill's songs. Those are great. Um, let's see. Uh, well, Al City, of course. I do have a guilty pleasure of One Direction every so often. <laughs> <laughs> the girls, I'll turn that on and I'll, I'll just like, what is I'll that? Be, I'll be red in the face because I, I don't want them to hear what I'm listening to. But um, I adore the Piano Guys. Simply Three, which is a, a cello and violin trio. Um, I will sometimes listen to like uh, Echo Smith. Two cellos. Two cellos. Uh, I have a huge variety of favorite modern artists. So I am not strictly a vintage music listener at all. I listen to... Um, Oh, no, Two Steps from Hell. Two Steps from Hell, which is a music soundtrack, um, not music soundtrack, movie soundtrack type of music. Don't let the yeah, title. don't let the name deter you. The so the songs yeah. are amazing. They're all yeah. instrumental. Sometimes they'll have vocables in them. They're just if you want to feel epic, <laughs> listen to those songs. Yeah. Or Thomas Burgesson, he also he composes for Two Steps from Hell. Yeah. Um, also the um, Whale and Jennies. The girls don't understand why I love them, but I love them. Um, they just have a very folky, no, right. earthy sound to them, and I love their harmonies. They're just so haunting and beautiful. Um, we'll also listen occasionally to Libra. Libra. Oh, it's we all love Libra. Beautiful. The girls like it more than I do. My oh. favorite song is Orinoco Flow, oh, and no. I would just... Sing, 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 oh, don't get me started. And Majesty is that's, beautiful. That's the only song that's my favorite of mine. Everything else is kind of like... I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's because yeah. you listen to it on repeat, non-stop, for weeks. You did? Libra? Yes. Yes, you oh. did. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Burnout. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I like that, that you don't listen to. That's a habit to. of mine. While you're thinking, yeah. between these two, I don't have any... I do have a Spotify <laughs> account, but I don't ever listen to it because 
they're always playing their favorite pieces, and I would rather listen to an informative oh. podcast whenever there is some sound space available. Okay, we do do that, Jess, a lot. We banjo three. <laughs> we banjo three. Oh, they're great. Happiness. Happiness. Oh. Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> happiness is just around the love corner. That That's a great song. Yeah. So. We love a huge variety of music. Yeah, we don't stay to... That's how we grew to... up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Dad and Mom um, listen to Coldplay and YouTube. 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 I did say YouTube. And almost sounded like YouTube. Um, and then also Beck and there's another band. I'm not. Maybe that's that. why the British say YouTube. YouTube. That way it's more distinct from mm. YouTube. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, we have an incredible, like, an incredibly varied music background. We were never yeah. raised on classical. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Never. Dad was a lover of pop rock, I guess. That's, no, not pop rock. Um, not rock. Just, it was... It's just... What is it? Jinx. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said Jinx first. I think it's... Uh, I for think you it's, to I, it's, I think Jinx it's pop it. music. Pop music, but the, yeah. not the trashy kind, the artful kind. No. Yeah. So. Did you mention Mumford & Sons? Mumford & Sons. They're a great band. Um, They're older albums. So, I... Well, it depends upon your taste. Yeah. Uh, so as far as like there are a few songs that you should not as, listen to. As far as um, artists that are like Owl City, I don't listen to a lot of other techie sounding songs, techno, techno sounding songs um, from other artists. Owl City provides that for me, but I listen to a lot of different genres. So just to wrap it up, we listen to a lot of different music and yep. gain a lot of inspiration from it. So yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that is it for this segment. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun, and I hope that we have filled you in on our lives and our preferences <laughs> and everything we have to say on fashion, creativity, beauty, lifestyle, music. So uh, we will talk to you all later, and uh, join us for our next video whenever that goes up. So subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye! Bye.